According to an interview that Slash did with the Daily Star recently, Guns N' Roses is working on a new album. Slash said, quote, Guns N' Roses are trying to make their own record, and I'm working with them in that capacity, unquote. So there's definitely an effort being made for Guns N' Roses to put together a new album. I also came across this recent interview with Slash on the Ola England channel where he talks about the various projects he's involved in right now and one of them is the new Guns N' Roses album. Here's Slash. So your main focus is just gonna do your own yeah, Slash Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, I'm back in Guns N' Roses yep. so I want to get a new Guns record done. Yep. I've got The Conspirators, which I just right. finished a tour with and so I'm gonna start a new record with them after the tour. For and with Miles then? Yeah. Okay. So, I'm pretty busy. <laughs> oh, damn. Okay, so if you notice, he mentioned that he's very, very busy in that interview clip, and he goes on to list a number of other projects that he's working on. So I think this also factors in to the timetable for the new Guns N' Roses album and the quality. Now, back in 2022, they put out a four-song EP, which was mostly made out of uh, retooled relics from the old days and demos from the early times of Guns N' Roses that had never been finished. Some of the songs go way, way back. Now, is this news or is it just hype? And if they are making a new album, will it be any good? So these are some of the questions that we can talk about here in this video. First of all, I do believe that they are working on a new album. I think that most of the effort is probably going toward expanding the EP and following the blueprint there of looking at old material and old demos and songs that were never finished and trying to put some polish on that. There may be one or two original songs in the works, but I would be very surprised if it was an album comprised of a lot of new material. I would think that it, at best there would be three or four new songs, and probably it's going to be closer to two. Will the album be good? Well, the answer to that question is it depends on what you're expecting. If you're expecting it to compete with Appetite for Destruction, it won't hold up at all because nothing that they've done after Appetite for Destruction holds up to what they did on that first debut album. So it's unlikely that this late in the game they're going to come out with something that compete with what they did at their prime. Now, if you compare it to some other Guns N' Roses endeavors, you might think otherwise. I'm not saying that Use Your Illusion Volume 1 and 2 are bad albums, I'm saying that they're inconsistent. And so if you compare what might come out on the new album to the worst of what was put out on Use Your Illusion 1 and 2, well then it might be worth waiting for, it might be worth getting excited about. And I think there might just be a good song left in the vault somewhere that they can polish up and give to us. And one reason I think that's the case is because of all of the leaps and bounds that have been made in AI recording technology that would allow them to patch up any kind of early recordings they might be sitting on right now. But on the whole, I would not expect the new Guns N' Roses album to be brilliant. Now, there's one other thing that I would say about it. I wouldn't expect to get it anytime soon. I would say if they're talking about right now they're trying to make an album, by the time they finish sorting out what material they're going to put on the album, they record it and they mix it and they decide how they're going to distribute it, it could be two or three years from now. And that could be very optimistic given that Axl Rose took six or eight years to make Chinese democracy. So my two takeaways from this recent news about Guns N' Roses working on a new album. Don't get super excited about what might be on it and don't get super excited about it coming anytime soon. This is what I think, but what really matters is what you think. So if you have an idea about this or any other topic connected to classic or contemporary music, please drop it in the section below. And remember to like and subscribe. I'd also like to point out that there's a join button available for those of you who would like to support the site. If you join, you'll get access to members-only videos, members-only badges, members-only polls, 
at other cool perks that you can see by clicking on the join button, which I hope you'll do. You can also support the site by clicking on the buy me a coffee link in the description box below, going over there. If you do that, you'll also get access to material that's not present here on YouTube, mainly due to potential copyright problems. So I hope you'll check out the content in the member section and check out the content over on the Buy Me A Coffee page and make a contribution to keep this channel growing. I'm very happy with the way it's going so far and look forward to having a lot of more interesting and cool content in the future. Thanks a lot.